Hello and welcome to Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. It's Free Pattern Friday and I have picked for this Friday to give you a very old block but I supersized it so you can use up some of your larger scraps and make a very quick fast and easy quilt top for this weekend coming up. But first before we get into this let's talk about our shout outs. The word is out now that I'm doing a collaboration with Michelle from Bits and Pieces, Kelly from Kelly's Quilts and Cruises, and Future Cat from New Zealand. I'm so excited about this. We had our second meeting and we're start, the designs are starting to come out together and it is going to be so much fun. It's going to be absolutely beautiful. So when you get the chance, you go into the show notes below or the, the description box and you ch go check out their three channels that over there. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm so looking forward to this. And it's going to be late spring, early summer. Also, what you're going to find in those show notes are our Facebook group that's growing rapidly. We're having so much fun in there with fabric exchanges, virtual sewing rooms, taking polls, sharing pictures, all the fun stuff, welcoming. It's a very warm, welcoming group. So if you're part of the Facebook community, you should go over there and check us out. We're having so much fun there. Now, the other thing is our Zoom meetings. We do them. The, usually it's the first Saturday of the month. The dates are listed below as well as the Zoom link and the password to get in. Now, another thing is I do free speaking engagements and we are having so much fun with those free speaking engagements. It's just been just awesome talking to other quilters from all around the country it has been just amazing and I don't have a trunk show or anything like that but I do have a powerpoint presentation and I do um, like I, I do it over zoom so there's no cost involved for either myself or the the guild or quilting group that I'm speaking to so if you know a guild or quilting group that's looking for a speaker mention my name to them anyways come on let's get into this sewing it's going to be fast and fun Okay, so this is another one that uses those potato chip size blocks. This is the oversized eight and a half or eight and a half by four and a half with four and a half inch squares. And you've got two four and a half inch squares of your, you know, those colors. Now, if you're making these, you need some larger size scraps, right? Because I mean, this scrap here is like, you know, a hand. Oh, this scrap here is like a hand, right? So you need like three hands of scrap which I mean, and you can cut them out of a four and a half inch length, as long as you've got, you know, eight and a half, six, uh, 17 and another nine, which be 23. Like, you know, you'd have to have 17 and nine is 26. Sorry. You need like 26 by four and a half, right. To a uh, scrap. I had some scraps that were larger. So I, you know, I was able to make all the purple. Now I've given you a different size in the show notes below, which is uh, using your two and a half inch squares and your two and a half by four and a half. But you could also do three and a half inch squares and then three and a half by six and a half. You just, you would make just smaller blocks, but this one's going to come together fast and furious. So let's do the, the row, the row with the most seams first, just so we get this, get this all sewn together and it comes together very, very quick. Um, but I wanted to give you something a little bit fast, you know, like some, sometimes we get into so many blocks that are so complex that we just need to sit down and go, okay, I need a fun day. I just need a, a day to sit and sew and not worry about stuff and make it happen. You know, those, those easier days. There we go. And I decided I wanted to use up some purple because I thought purple would be fun. There we go. No, I'm just gonna, yeah, I really, I got a lot of this poke, this dot fabric. I just love it. So now, yeah, so the words out, our collaboration is up and running or hopefully up and running by the time this post, um, or it will be announced shortly between our four channels. And that's, uh, Michelle from Bits and Pieces, Kelly from Kelly's Cru Quilts and Cruises and Future Cat from New Zealand. Um, it was such a pleasure working with some talented artists. I was just, it was really cool. I was very happy that they, they included, they were willing to join on. We had this idea, let's, let's play, let's do something fun. And they were all game. I just thought, what a wonderful, 
wonderful thing to do, right? So now I'm going to press these because I'm working with darks and mediums, right? You could work with darks and lights or mediums and lights or, you know, whatever. I want them to go, the, this goes in to the dark, this goes out to the dark and out to the dark. So now when I'm sewing my rows together, it's going to nest and you're going to have a lit perfectly beautiful little line or little staircase. Now this block has been around for a while and it, according to Barbara Backman, it's been called everything under the sun. And some of the names were regional. And then when it um, resurfaced, it had yet a different name, but I thought, okay, we can have some fun with this. But yeah, if you guys haven't bought the Barbara Backman Encyclopedia, it is amazing. So I'm just going to finger press this just like so. Such nice cotton. There. Okay. And I'm going to sew this part and it's going to work beautifully. This, like I say, this block comes together so quick. And I love how it's asymmetric. So you have all sorts of fun ideas on doing like a barn raising or uh, like a trip around the world kind of a layout. Yeah, you can have lots of fun with this. Or you can just go, you know, what do they call it? Streaks of license, lightning or... Yeah, you can also put this on point. It would be so much fun. Okay. So, now. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to press away from the this middle out. Right? So there. Now I'm just like I say, I'm just finger pressing this. I know it's usually pressed to the dark, but this low volume is pretty thick cotton. So let's get to our beautiful little ta-da moment on our very fast and quick block. So here's our patience block. You saw how fast this one was to do. And because I've oversized it, like to make a twin size quilt, you'd only need 35 of these, right? So you got one down, 34 more to go. Um, it does use up your bigger scraps. And some people were having concerns as to how to use their larger scraps because they didn't want to be cutting them into little tiny pieces. So this is one block. Now, what you could do with this is you have the dark down the middle, you have a lighter or medium purple on one side and another medium purple on this side. It would work. It would work. So, or you have, you know, a different color altogether on these two sides, right? Like one would be, you know, pink and the other one would be orange, right? Or green or whatever. So this one would use up your large scraps very quickly and you wouldn't need, you know, like three or four hands sizes of fabric to work with. So... Um, the other thing, I just want to talk to you about this uh, collaboration, Michelle from Bits and Pieces, Future Cat from New Zealand, Kelly from Kelly's Quilts and Cruises, and myself are all in a collaboration. The word is out now, so I might as well just go with it. I'm not going to talk to you about what designs are coming out because it's a so long, because it's kind of like a mystery so long, but it is about community. So we are celebrating our community so it's going to be a lot of fun it's gonna you know, i love the idea of working with these other talented and creative artists so you gotta join us for this so until we take till we meet again you guys take care stay well and have an absolutely fabulous week ahead okay bye my husband and I would love to thank you for watching in uh, our video and being so supportive of our channel. This has been just such an amazing journey we're on here on YouTube and we just, we wouldn't been able to do it without you. So our thanks, truly our thanks for you. If there's anything you need, don't be afraid to contact me either through the Facebook book or through email. I, uh, I'm trying to do as many viewer request videos as possible and if I don't do it, you, you need to remind me, okay? So that's not a problem. <laughs> but yes, it's been just absolutely amazing. Tell, make sure you tell your gills I speak for free. I, you know, we have a Facebook group. We do Zoom so dates. And we're, we give out nothing but free patterns. So 
I hope that you have an absolutely joyful year ahead and your sewing room, everything is going for you and life is great. Okay, you take care until we see each other again. Okay, bye.